Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. For access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey everyone, checking out the markets here. We're going to start it with a 10-year treasury yield because we're getting pretty tight. We're still in a pretty bullish bull flag of consolidation on the daily and weekly in this pattern. And we can see things are tightening up. We have a double low of consolidation. We're right in the middle of the range before our last lower high of resistance. And we're setting up here for a tight range heading into the FOMC on Wednesday. So we'll see if FOMC is going to act as a catalyst. The dollar and gold are in some pretty tight, choppy daily ranges as well. And we're watching to see if this is going to be a catalyst to potentially shift and break these tight ranges. So we'll be looking for the potential. If we do see continuation and confirmation of this bull flag, we're gonna continue watching the 10 year yield head up towards 3%. And again, that's a psychological level where if it gets crossed, we might see the potential of people take money out of the stock market and put it into this more secure, uh, less risk, less reward financial instrument. So checking in on SPY, SPY had a big bear day today and it was because of the tech sector. As I keep saying, tech sector runs the market and the tech sector saw a hit with potential taxes in EU of 3%. So that was the bearish news that led to the downside today. Names like Facebook down 8%. Facebook got hit after hours again with another executive leaving. So down to 170, but major names taking a hit. You know, we've got uh, Netflix pulling back a bit with Citron all over it. We've got Facebook now. So watching for potential weakness in the tech sector to indicate market weakness. So the must hold level for me, we're still well above it. And that's because this daily higher low pattern in order to stay intact has to hold 263.76. And we're still again, almost $7 above that level. So we could pull back another two and a half percent and be right at that support. Ideally, the bulls would have held 269.12, this little higher low, but that's not the must hold level for me, as that is not the clear support that was held. And you'll see most individual names, their must hold level is on March 2nd. So the weekly time frame is trying to hold the middle Bollinger Band on the weekly chart for the third time in the past couple weeks. We held it twice in the past month, and we'll see where we close relative to that level by the end of this week with the FOMC having a significant impact as that will give us momentum into the end of the week. Checking the Dow, the Dow has been weaker of these three markets that we cover, and IWM have been strongest, but here's the equilibrium, the high, low, the lower high, the must hold March 2nd low of 24,217 lower high and now the bulls are attempting a higher low to stay in this equilibrium pattern and we will be watching very close for this break because even though we don't have the setup of this pattern on all of the the markets dow is definitely going to be important and we'll have to see which direction we break to give us some direction as we head into april and that's gonna that momentum is going to carry into april because it's a long drawn out clearly tightening pattern and we're watching for that break likely sometime within the next two weeks. So IWM on the daily, much stronger than everybody else, back testing, moving average support. The must hold level is down at 148.40. So again, not even in the picture at this point. The bulls are trying to form their higher low on the daily at 154.45, but we have to see hourly higher lows and higher highs to be confident that our daily higher low is forming. And that's the case for all individual names. Look at the hourly time frame. Use the four period and the eight period exponential moving average resistance. If the bulls are unable to get over that level on any bounce, there's a potential of hourly bear flags before continuation down. And the hourly time frame has to give us a higher low and a higher high to shift momentum. A bounce that just gives us another lower high does not do that. So watch the hourly chart heading into tomorrow. That's going to be real important to see if the bulls continue this bounce recovery or if the bears are going to maintain full control. IWM showing how much stronger it is. Potential cup and handle kind of pattern psychology here. All time high consolidation the right side unable to break the left side healthy handle of consolidation and then breakout and continuation it's a possibility certainly a pattern to be keeping an eye on vix had a nice big day today rejecting right off the daily upper bollinger band resistance key must break level and again it lines up with march 2nd is 2622 we would have to close above the upper bollinger band to see that we can see a daily bull macd cross without breaking out above the upper bollinger band and at this point the bulls just want to maintain the middle bollinger band as support as that rejected the last attempt now it's support and if we hold that level the bollinger bands will expand and create room to the upside as the moving average begins to ascend as well so vix is seeing some life today nice gains for the bulls and the weekly time frame still in this channel of clear lower highs but 
trying to shift that momentum in their favor. So that's where we stand heading into tomorrow, all about the hourly time frame. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you then.